Okay, so walk around this uh, 99 on a T, Land Rover Defender 90 TD5, genuine factory county station wagon. Um, big spec this one, obviously finished in Rioja red metallic um, with standard, I think it's Rayleigh interior in, uh, in grey. Um, standard county station wagon spec in that it's got sunroof, it's a six seater with the four individual folding rear seats in the back um, with seat belts. Uh, the full headlining, tinted glass and um, colour-coded arches and stuff. But this one's also been um, quite substantially uh, uprated. It's got a matching set of um, five Colway G-Trax uh, 23585R16 tyres on the correct boost alloys. Um, it's got security grills to the rear side windows and the rear windows. Um, it's got, a, I think, a 50mm suspension lift. Certainly taller than standard and putting it against a standard one, I think it's 50 millimetres. Um, it's got rock, slider, rock sliders on it with the sort of sidestep thing built in. Um, auxiliary lights, four on, the, uh, on a light bar on the roof and two on a heavy duty front bumper. It's got snorkel. It's got steering guard and front diff guard. <coughs> Inside, pretty much standard apart from a nice Alpine radio CD system. It's also got electric windows on it. Um, around the back end, we've oh we've got checker plate on the wing tops. Around the back end, we've got a North American spec rear step, which is nice to have. Uh, adjustable tow pack, <coughs> mud flaps all round. There we have it. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very few bad bits. Um, and say very very nice spec on it all round, really. Paintwork around the front end, it is a bit wet and damp today, but I've just cleaned it so I know where all the marks are and stuff. There's a couple of tiny spots of lacquer lift on the bonnet. I think there's one about there and a couple of scratches here and there on the bonnet, no more than that. And around the front end, it all looks pretty tidy and nice. Um, the roof, there is some lacquer loss on the roof on both sides of the sunroof. For some reason, this Rioja Red seems to do that. We've had a couple of other ones where they've done the same thing. Um, you can maybe just sort of see a couple of bits here where the, uh, the lacquer has lifted uh, both sides of the sunroof um, and probably some up here as well seems to be okay at the, at the back there um, you've got to be taught to see that uh, looking down the sides a couple of slight dents in the barrel side on the passenger door but apart from that all as it should be possibly it's had the near side front wing repainted because it does just look in certain lights if it's a very very slightly darker color you can only really spot it in certain lights i don't know if you can see it on the video but um near side front wing is possibly a slightly different sh uh, slightly darker shade but um can't see where any difference there anyway um there's a couple of minor hedge scratches in the left hand front eyebrow here uh, that's about it scuttle corner on the near side looks spot on um, as does the screen. It's obviously had uh, replacement hinges put on it. Near side door, there's some electrolytic reaction. There's a bubble there, a bubble there, and a bubble there, and a bit in the corner there which has been touched in. Um, looking inside it, it's all quite nice inside, inside actually, all really quite nice and clean and uh, the way it should be. Um, headlining's all in there, slightly grubby headlining, but uh, the dash is all nice. We've got a mobile phone holder here. The front carpet mats, which is a good thing, have been replaced by rubber mats, which is nice. Much better than carpet. Doesn't trap the moisture. Um, near side door, difficult to feel on these later doors because they, they're slightly different design. Apart from a slight hole, a, a hole in the back here of the, of the frame, the near side door actually looks to be quite reasonable and there's no movement in the hinges whatsoever. And it hasn't dropped a line of rust along there, so uh, I think the near side door is pretty good just a little bit of rust coming up in the in the out in the outer corner um, near side rear wing all looks pretty good there's a sort of a deep scratch that's been touched in from there to there on the near side rear wing uh, and there's a slight crease in the near side rear corner just here and a bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up on the um, on the back of the wing there all looks nice and correct under there Around the tail end, the usual reaction on the tailgate, around the handle here and down the bottom here and a bit there. And the tailgate, uh, so it's got a, a spare wheel carrier on it as well, which I forgot to mention. In the back here, the, um, 
the matting has been replaced with uh, uh, with carpet. That's just coming away a little bit there. It needs to be stuck back down again. Four individual rear seats, as I say, with seat belts. Checker plate um, uh, door card as well. Now the tailgate, as always, is rusting around the latch there and down the bottom there. Quite severe rusting, but it doesn't affect the um, the integrity of the tailgate. What you're looking for is down here, really. And down there, it all feels pretty good up and up, up until the, the actual corner itself. And as I say, it's got a spare wheel carrier anyway, which is uh, holding the um, taking the weight of the spare wheel off the door. So that's all good. Uh, looking down the offside, all looks pretty good. All I can see is the offside um, uh, offside front eyebrow is slightly misshapen, pushed in very slightly. They're, they're sort of uh, rubberized plastic. So a bit of paint loss and reaction around the, um, the offside rear corner here. A couple of bits of uh, checker plate would... Uh, Cure that if you're that way inclined. Um, offside rear wing, all good. That's all good up there. Yeah, a couple of bits and say of lack of loss up here, as we've said before. On the driver's door, usual bit of reaction here underneath the um, the handle. A tiny bit in the corner there, uh, but otherwise it's all pretty good. And in here, no real wear on the driver's seat. The seats are in pretty good shape. There's a very tiny nick there, just where the frame has come through on the driver's seat, just there. Um, but dash is all pretty nice. Footwell's all good. Let that ring. Um, again, driver's door has got quite a large hole in the in the back of the um, in the back of the frame there. But the rest of it actually feels quite good. And again, no movement whatsoever in the hinges. Um, Scuttle corner on the offside is all spot on, very good. Offside front wing, this is just should be out there a bit more really, it's just sort of slightly misshapen over the years. Um, offside front wing, all very good. That's about it, I think. It's, uh, so it's a genuine station, county station wagon. My name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co uk for any further info we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard credit cards and debit cards with a two percent surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered any way you like in the world certainly europe and uh, and the uk no problem otherwise it goes on a boat that's about it and